I'll show you how we can have the free MySQL database online. So there are a variety of options available. One of the options is db for free net and another is free SQL database dot com and another one is infinity v dot net. So these are three options which are working right now. One is the db for free dot net. Another is free SQL database and then is the infinityfree.com. So I will not be going with infinityfree.com. I will be going with free SQL database. If you go down here, you can see MySQL database hosting and website hosting. So here you can see MySQL for free. So you can have one database up to five MB for free with PHP, my admin. You will sign up with your email address, sign up and register. So you will get the user ID and password of free SQL database and then you can use it. So I'll be logging in new password for the free SQL database and save the password. So remember me, I'm not a rebel and login. And here I will be using it. Complete my registration. Server location where you want to have it. So I will be using Asia Pacific and save location. And now I can create my database. So in case you want to upgrade the account, so you can upgrade the account also. Your price is $21 per year for 100 Mbps 5 databases. But I'll be going with the simple database. So I'll create a new database here. All right, so I have already received the password by email. So what I can do now, I can just phpmyadmin.co. I will log in to the server. So host name is sql12.freesqldatabase.com. Database name and uh, the username is same. And here is my database password. Here you go. Now what you can do here, once you have, of course, created the database here, you have the database available with you. What you can do now, you can, of course, create the tables. Right now, there is no table available. I can import and export the database also if I have, of course, maximum size available is 5 MB. But I can uh, run the scripts, so I will share that with you also. I have few databases which I want to create. So there is um, some uh, dummy data which I have created uh, for the purpose of uh, some training videos. So here is the database table which I want to create with some dummy data. So this is the customer's data. So I will be simply creating this database table. All right, so these are the tables which are created. Now my database is ready. Here you can see if I go back to the database, the database size is also very small. So five MB size is enough for such kind of experimental database. Now in the next video, I'll show you why I created this database and what is the benefit of this.